Chinese stocks listed in the US have been on a bumpy ride recently. A lot of investors are afraid. They have sold out of their positions, creating an environment of fear. What does this mean for you and me? One thing. Chinese stocks are on the discount right now and we can scoop up some of the best stocks in China at a cheap price. If you want to learn more, smash the like button to help out the channel and stick around to find out my top 5 Chinese stock picks. Alright, starting off we have one of the most popular companies in China, Alibaba, which is essentially China's Amazon. The company has amazing prospects and is involved in two of the most rapidly growing industries in China, e-commerce and cloud solutions. Alibaba is the market leader in both. The company owns two of the most visited online shopping websites in China, Taobao and Timo, along with plenty of other brands which together account for just over 58% of the Chinese e-commerce market in 2020. Just to put it in perspective, e-commerce sales in China during 2020 were 1.8 trillion US dollars. Unfortunately, Alibaba's market share has actually declined since 2015, when the company accounted for almost 78% of all e-commerce sales in China. The main reason behind this are the new emerging competitors like Pinduoduo and strong performance from rivals like JD. Pinduoduo is actually getting a lot of investors excited and may be a serious rival to Alibaba, but the e-commerce market is big enough for both players. Pinduoduo does not have Alibaba's cloud business, which has been showing serious growth in the last few quarters. Relative to 2019, Alibaba's cloud revenues grew by an astonishing 62% in 2020 and an additional 50% in 2021. In comparison, Alibaba's core business revenues increased by 35% in 2020 and an additional 42% in 2021. Right now, Alibaba is cheap. The company's PE ratio is only 23.6 and its forward PE is 16.7, although it has traded historically at above 30. The analyst consensus price for Alibaba is $293. The Gordon Grove exit model in Finbox gives us a target price of $276.5 US dollars and the discounted cash flow analysis on Simply Wall Street gives us a target price of $323 US dollars. Alibaba is financially healthy, it has a growing business and every analysis points to a higher target price with a possible profit of between 38 to 61.5%. Next we have Baidu which is essentially the Chinese equivalent of Google. They operate China's number one search engine which accounts for almost 80% of all search traffic and 93% of all mobile search traffic. Baidu also have a cloud business, they are involved in AI and driverless cars which have been doing well recently. Baidu had its fair share of problems when it initially started up its AI expansion, but it looks like the company has dealt with these issues now. Analysts are predicting that Baidu's earnings will stay flat this year, but we need to keep in mind that Baidu has beaten the last 8 earnings and revenue estimates. From next year, even the conservative analysts are expecting earnings growth above 20%, which is very strong. Currently, Baidu trades at a PE of 17 and a forward PE of 15.3, which is extremely cheap for a company that's expected to show a 20% growth. Similar to Alibaba, Baidu has a lot of cash on hand, about 25 billion US dollars, compared to its long-term debt of only 10 billion dollars, meaning that it has an enterprise value of only 47 billion dollars on a revenue of 17.4 billion, resulting in an EV to revenue ratio of less than 2.7 and an EV to net income ratio of 6.3, which is insanely low for a growing established company in several different growing fields. Analyst consensus for Baidu's price is $309. The Gordon Grove exit model in Finbox also gives us a target price of $307. And the discounted cash flow analysis on Simply Wall Street gives us a target price of $289. Given that Baidu currently trades at about $175, we essentially have a possible profit here of between 65 and 76%. The next two companies are smaller than Alibaba or Baidu, but together account for almost 80% of the streaming market share in China. These two companies are Douyu and Huya. The streaming market in China is currently valued at about $4.6 billion and is expected to grow at an annual pace of 32%, so it is definitely a good market to be involved with. 
Doyu and Huya were planning a merger, but that has been officially blocked the first week of July, which sent Doyu's share price plummeting. Which was weird, because the underlying fundamentals have remained the same. Huya currently trades at a PE of 26.1, with a forward PE of 16, whereas Doyu is a bit pricier, with a PE of 42.3, although its forward PE is much, much lower at 19. However, what stands those two companies apart are their massive cash reserves. Huya has $1.6 billion in cash on a market cap of 3.65 billion US dollars with no long-term debt, while Doyu also has no long-term debt and owns $1.16 billion of cash on a market cap of $1.78 billion. Huya has 43% of their market cap in cash, while Doyu literally has 65% of their market cap in cash. Huya's enterprise value is just 2 billion US dollars, while Doyu's enterprise value is only 0.6 billion US dollars, meaning that Huya's EV to revenue ratio is 1.32, while Doyu's EV to revenue is just 0.4. 0.4! Huya is cheap, but Doyu is just criminally undervalued. This is nothing. If the share price of Doyu drops a bit further, you will literally be getting a free business. This is insane, especially when you consider that they are two market leaders in an industry that is expanding 32% annually. Analyst consensus for Huya is 22.5 US dollars and 11.8 for Doyu. Simply Wall Street values their cash flow at 24.2 for Huya and 16.1 US dollars for Doyu. Overall, we are looking at potential profits of 46 to 57% for Huya and 114 to 192% for Doyu. As I said, both companies are criminally undervalued to the point that it is suspicious. In my opinion, the recent tech crackdown in China plus the blocked merger of the two companies sent their price plummeting, but I think that investors are overreacting. My personal opinion is that this is a great time to enter both companies, but as always, this is not financial advice and you should do your own research before buying. The final stock on my list is 360 Finance or QFIN. Unlike the other four companies that I mentioned, 360 Finance has had a phenomenal year. It started off at $12 on 1st of January this year and hit a high of $44 less than a few weeks ago before falling back to $25. 360 Finance is an online lending platform in China which has been showing spectacular growth. Last year, when the Chinese government introduced new measures to improve financial regulations, most consumer finance companies were hurt badly. But interestingly enough, 360 Finance actually benefited from that. Unlike Alipay and most other consumer finance companies, which mainly provide quick loans to retail users who shop on online platforms, 360 Finance focuses on lending to SMEs, meaning small and medium enterprises. Long story short, the last two quarters have been phenomenal for the company. Investors have still not come to grip with it as its PE ratio is tiny, absolutely tiny. It is only 5.3 with a forward PE ratio of 4.2. 4.2! The company is growing rapidly and its current valuation does not reflect the amazing potential of the company. The analyst price consensus for 360 Finance is $42.3, but simply Wall Street values its cash flow at $112. US Seeing how the company has grown over the last few years, I think I agree with the higher estimate. Consumer finance is expanding fast in China and 360 Finance is positioned well to take advantage of that. I really think that they have the opportunity to quadruple in price, provided that they continue to maintain the growth in users. Before I finish, I want to say that investing in Chinese stocks is risky, but it can offer amazing returns, so you need to be careful and manage your expectations. These are my top 5 Chinese stock picks right now, but I'm interested in finding out about yours. What do you think about Chinese stocks? Which ones are your favorites? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to check my other stock picks and also like, share and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you again soon.